everyone, welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Alyssa Cotton and I provide emotional mental support for female entrepreneurs. And today I am headed out to a retreat with Haley Hoffman Smith. It is her first retreat. It's all the way in New Hampshire. So I'm flying to Boston. I've got my luggage ready to go. I am all packed and we're gonna head to the airport and I'm gonna follow, follow along on my journey for my first retreat as an adult. I've always done retreats when I was like in high school for church, but I've never done a personal development retreat. So if that's something you want to see more of, stay till the end of the video to see my entire experience at my first retreat. Let's go. I just made it through TSA and I pre-ordered my Starbucks. I just got a text message that it's ready and then I'm gonna go board Mr. Moose. I made it through security, got my matcha. Such a good tip, so I mobile ordered it when we were driving to the airport, and I just set the time for like 2.05, and then I got there at like 2.07, and it texted me that it was ready, so such a good hack. I brought some good snacks for the flight. Gluten-free party mix. Ooh. Freeze-dried peaches and strawberries. And then got some gluten-free pretzels and some fresh raspberries. I never know if there's gonna be gluten-free food and because it's such a long journey, I wanted to make sure that I had plenty of snacks and plenty of options. I filled up my water and we board at 222, which seems like divine. I made it to Seattle. I went to the green spot and made a like build your own salad. I got ranch. I didn't know if I was gonna like it, so I asked for it on the side. I board in about an hour, and then I'll be getting to Boston around 6 a.m., and then I'm gonna meet up with some of the girls from the retreat, and then our shuttle's at noon. I made it to Boston and I'm here in my friend's hotel. We're getting ready to head to the airport to catch the shuttle to the retreat. But before we headed out, I had to order some gluten-free donuts. So let me show you some footage. We are in the car headed to the retreat. We just did our first stop. We found the cutest little convenience store and we've got like an hour and a half and then it's retreat time. <laughs> I made it to the retreat. I just checked into my room so I'll give you a full room tour. It is very hot so I'm gonna take all of my Alaskan layers off but it is so cute. It's like a little cottage and we all have our own room and we have these really cute little keys and we got goodie bags so I'm going to show you everything.
we got swag bags. So let's do a little unboxing to see everything that we got. So cute. A Gemini puzzle. I'm a Gemini, May. We've got some snacks. Ooh, uh, some more little candies. So cute little goodies. I'll have to dive into this later. Ooh, we've got some essential oil roll-ons. Oh, a cute little crystal. And a candle. Oh, we've got cute little stickers. Chin up and start tapping. So cute. Let's take a look in the other bag. I think this is from the place that we're staying at. It's called Sugar Hill Inn. So we've got a little like notebook journal and a cute little hat, which will be perfect for Alaska because it's still, it's literally still snowing. And a mug. It says relax. So this is so amazing. This is my swag bag and I'm so excited. I got Haley a gift for hosting, so I'm gonna go give this to her. And I probably won't be doing a lot of group filming just to be really mindful of all the other people who are attending the retreat so that they can have that respect of pace and time, like, you know, that they're here on a retreat to grow. So I'll probably be doing more like room updates and I'll give you guys a tour tomorrow morning when I'm just kind of going on a walk by myself. But. I'm excited for the treat. We've got Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then we all leave Sunday. So we've got a lot of time to get there and a lot of time to grow and connect, and I'm so excited. So I'll catch you in the next clip. So we did a little like mocktail happy hour. I got a Moscow Mule with, instead of vodka, I had them add club soda, which is super yummy. I highly recommend it. And then we all set our intention for the retreat this week. We had dinner, I'll insert some fun photos from dinner. It was incredible and it was all gluten free. And then we just went on a walk right after. I'm gonna put on my cozy pajamas and head. We're gonna go watch a movie and call it a night. Good morning. Welcome to day two of Soul Sync, the first full day. Yesterday was really all about travel and just eating and getting to know everyone. There was no like official um, like agenda. It was just like meet and greet and dinner. And today we start at 7:30 till 9:30 today. So we are jam packed. So this morning it's like choose your own adventure before breakfast. So I'm gonna do some yoga, I already meditated. I got ready, I did my morning affirmations, um, set my intention for the day, so I'm all set. So I'm gonna do some gentle yoga just here in the room. And then we've got breakfast, we've got an energy reading, we're gonna go on a walk, then we're gonna come back and have lunch, and then we've got our first EFT tapping session. Then we've got a little nap, then we've got mocktails, dinner, journaling, and then tonight we've got hypnosis. So I am really excited for today. I'm really looking forward. I am a little bit thrown off with the time zone being on the East Coast, being on Alaska. That's a four hour time difference. So right now it's 8 a.m. So it's really only 4 a.m. in Alaska. So luckily with the blinds not being blackout curtains, I was able to kind of wake up with the um, the daylight and I really think that helped with my circadian rhythm, but I'm so excited to take you along with today's <laughs> Okay, vote for whichever one you feel called to. Okay, okay. Mystic Mondays, okay Midnight magic mushroom Okay, pink Okay, crows Okay Ethereal <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. 
Uh, orange, purple. We just got done with the energy reading and we are going to go on a walk and do some journaling and meditating and do intention setting. It is a beautiful hot day. It's already 70 degrees so I'm probably going to take my sweater off but so far the energy reading was basically trust the process without needing to know every single detail so that way you can enjoy the process and have fun and not try to overanalyze and overthink every single process. Today's agenda, after we did the hike, we came and had lunch, and then we did this like five hour healing circle where we were just sharing our fears, and then we did tapping to heal on those fears, and then we just shared our visions for each other, and it was so healing, so many tears, but just such a beautiful experience to connect with other women and feel trust to be vulnerable, and it was a very powerful experience. And we were all crying because everyone's story was just so um, powerful and you could just see how strong these individuals were. And so now I just changed for dinner and I'm gonna be facilitating a little activity tonight, which I'm really excited for. And I'll definitely bring you along. And then after dinner, I think we're gonna do a bonfire and some hypnosis. So it's gonna be a really great evening. day three of the retreat the second full day yesterday after dinner we went by the bonfire and we did hypnosis and I was so exhausted and today I am so drained yesterday I woke up super early like ready to get my morning routine done and today I slept in I like kind of woke up then fell back asleep and um, breakfast is in five minutes so today we've got a really packed schedule we're going to be doing breakfast <clears throat> I'm actually going to be leading an activity, which I'm really excited for. Um, we've got yoga and then tapping for the rest of the day. Um, and hopefully there's like time for a nap because I'm like emotionally exhausted. I almost feel hungover. I have not had any alcohol, but I feel hungover just because of how much emotional work we've been doing. So I'm excited to like see how today goes. And it's another super hot, sunny day. Um, and enjoy all the festivities. So I'm excited to take you along. Let's go. Look how fun! I'm so excited. I love, love, love yoga.
Today was another amazing day. After lunch, we did a sound bath and then we did EFT tapping and right before dinner, we just made vision boards, which was so incredible. We had an amazing last dinner. We are going to have a bonfire and we all wrote what we want to release. And so I'm releasing fear, uncertainty, and playing small. We're gonna put it in the bonfire to release that. And then after the bonfire, we're doing hypnosis. And then tomorrow, we have to check out by noon. So I think we're doing some tapping tomorrow, breakfast, and then like a closing ceremony. And all of us are so sad because none of us had met before in person and we all have just gotten along so well. It's just been so amazing. We just met the owner of Sugar Hill and she was so incredible they just bought this in a year and a half ago and so we were their first big group and she was just so amazing um i'm so excited to give you like my final overview of how everything went i can't believe the three days are already done it's just pure insanity good morning it's the last day of the retreat i just got done going on a walk showering getting ready i'm all packed I probably have maybe like 10 minutes more of packing to do. We have to check out at noon in our shuttle to take us to the airports at noon. Gonna go eat breakfast. We've got um, the energy reading and then we're doing some tapping and then I think like the closing ceremony. We've got like three hours left, which is so intense and so sad. I was on the walk with a couple of the ladies today and we were just reflecting on how we were all strangers and now we're ready like planning our retreat reunion, which is such an incredible experience. Um, and I can't wait to give my final thoughts at the end of the day. So I'll see you in a couple hours. The retreat is over. Look how cute this coffee mug is that I'm drinking my coffee. So we stayed in Sugar Hill, New Hampshire at this amazing property. I cannot believe that the three days are over. We got in Thursday, but for me, I left Wednesday commuting from Alaska. Some of the main highlights was just connecting with all the women and being so open and vulnerable and healing. We did so many different types of healing. Yesterday we did a sound bath, which was so incredible just to get into that really deep state of relaxation and just surrender to the full process, which was a lot of fun. Um, so much amazing stuff. So I know that Haley is gonna be planning on doing so many more retreats. So if you're on the fence, this is definitely your sign to sign up for the next retreat that she does. The women we've been joking, calling each other like soul sisters and that we're gonna plan a reunion to meet up and connect again, just because of all of the amazing benefits that we've had. The only negative through the whole weekend was I wish we would have done more tapping because we were so open and vulnerable. We didn't get to tap as much and I was really looking forward to um, doing a lot of that tapping. And I think we just did healing in other ways. Otherwise that was like the only thing that I was really hoping for that we weren't able to do. But otherwise everything was amazing. We had a private chef all weekend. The food was so incredible, all gluten free. And I was blown away by every single meal and the flavors and just, the chef was so incredible. The owners of the inn came to dinner last night to just see how our experience is. And this, we were their first group, so they were really excited to have us. But everything was so perfect. All of our needs were met at every step of the way. And it was just an amazing experience. If you've ever been on a retreat, let me know in the comment section below. If you're thinking about going on a retreat, I highly recommend this one with Haley. Just taking time to feel restoration. I love going on vacation, but I tend to feel um, like I need a, a vacation after my vacation. And this vacation, I felt so restorative. I felt like I was able to reconnect to my goals and my purpose and scale and grow a little bit bigger, feel safe to shine, safe to share my message. I had so much fun. We're gonna get ready to do our closing ceremony and head to the shuttle and I'm gonna head back to Alaska. So I'm gonna conclude the vlog here. If you enjoyed some of the behind the scenes of my retreat, definitely hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. I release videos out every single week and I'd love for you to be a part of this community. And if you have any questions at all, let me know in the description below in the little chat, uh, the comment section, and I can be there for you. I hope you have an amazing day. Okay. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job.
said, you have many gifts, and this is this is one that I did not know. Need a picture. 